I have a lot of fun in vanilla Minecraft, and I've played a whole load of it. But let's face it, it does have its limitations when it comes to automation and moving parts. Cue the create mod. I'm sure you all know what this is, but for those that don't, it adds the ability to build entire working factories, crazy contraptions, a ton of new blocks to build with. Oh, and it adds trains. You can make trains. So with all that, we're going to begin our brand new event. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you sure you're smart enough for this block down? I'm not really sure, but we're about to find out. You've got to do more than just fish, you know. Oh, well, thanks for the confidence, Mr. B. I'm sure my new raccoon friends believe in me. But speaking of Mr. B, I want to give a huge thanks to him for putting together this mod pack, which was made for his very own Create series. So I'm going to leave a link to both of those in the description. Oh, fast leaf decay. That is very nice. Oh man, there's so much to discover in this mod pack. First though, I've got to discover my basic tools. And just like that, stone tools. Right, I'm thinking we need to start off with a little bit of exploring. And hello? Is that a village? And what the heck is this thing? A fly? Ooh, maggot. <laughs> That does not sound very appetizing. But straight up, I see some sheep, and I could use their wool and their food. Perfect. And with that, I can make myself a sleeping bag, yes. Right, not that experienced and modded, but I know what this thing is. I use one of those playing better Minecraft. And I think I'm just going to make my way around to this village. While, well, yeah, I'm sorry, I do kind of need the food. I'm hungry already. Let's try this maggot. Very filling. Ooh, crow? Well, now I'm sad. I didn't even drop anything. And I know what you're thinking, but no, I would not kill a raccoon. Seeing as well, these are the only guys that actually have confidence in me right now. But I think just over this hill, or maybe this hill, please? Oh, not this again. Not this again. No. No, no, just get me to this village. Oh my, whoa, this is huge. Oh man, this is so cool. Maybe some cool loot for me. Oh, hello. Bertram, Tarnia, the villagers have names. Oh, I'm gonna have to treat them with some respect. Right, got any chests for some good loot? I mean, there's bookshelves and stuff, that's pretty nice. But not what I'm looking for. Neither is that random brown stuff. Oh wait, is this a blacksmith? Oh, it certainly does look like it, right? Trey, Camille, I'm coming in. Oh, oh, gold loot chest. <gasps> Iron boots. Food! Right, get these booties on. Eat some bread. And I think we can keep looting. Wow, this might take a while. Look at the size of this village! Hey, I was not expecting this. Just gotta find some more loot chests. Oh, pumpkin pie. Anything in the cupboard? Oh, yeah, I can break them. Oh, potatoes. Yes, my favourite early game food. Though, this is modded. We might find something else. Like an empty map? That's kind of cool. More bread. I can't open this door. Give me this pressure plate. Boom. Bam. There we go. I'm genius. Or crate is off to a good start. Oh, oh my. That village is like geared up. Leanne, you're a badass. Don't think you want to upset her. I mean, there's not much loot in here, but this is actually so, so cool. We're definitely not going to be short of bookshelves if we need them. And speaking of, if I hit M, yes, I can open up the map. And I think at a waypoint, there we go. And I'll call this village. Cool, original name. So at least when we keep exploring, we can actually come back here. Is that an enchanted book? What is that? Uh, protection one. I mean, that's not great, but that's a lot better than nothing. <gasps> Pickaxes. I mean, I'll take these, why not? Man, it's like a market of free stuff. Oh man, it's literally the end of the first day already. We've got a whole village to loot still, but it doesn't mean we can use our sleeping bag. And I think we're gonna queue a village looting montage. And well, just like that, my inventory is completely full, which means that we're probably gonna have to come back and loot this place because at this point we need to find a place to settle down. And I'm liking the look of that mountain up there. I'm kind of wondering if I follow this around. Oh my God, there's cows. Where was I? Oh yeah, finding somewhere to live. I mean, I don't want to be too close to that village. So I think I'm gonna head around this way, around the other side of the mountain. And hopefully we'll find a spot that looks nice enough to live in. Right, I have not traveled far, like far at all. The village is just there. But look at this valley thing. This is so cool. Maybe a little free cam, just to have a real look. Oh, you know what? I do kind of like this place. Maybe a little closer to the village than I'd like, but we could come back in this area. And I'm thinking that maybe here's a good spot. Maybe we do have a few trees in the way. Come on, fast leaf decay. Oh, yes. Oh, that is such a nice feature. Now, I think the first thing I should do would be make a crafting table. We'll make a chest as well. And I can finally dump off all this stuff. I think I'm going to clear out a few more of these trees because I want to see what space we have to work with. I think eventually building a starter house here would be pretty nice. Yep, I kind of feel like that's enough space. But now it's time to actually move on to some create stuff. You can see over here, well, there's a whole load of stuff. And what do I need to make some of this? What's this, a shaft? Andesite alloy? Right, andesite iron. Oh god, I'm getting so confused. Right, so it's looking like we're going to need a lot of andesite and a lot of iron. But there is another way we can find out what we need, which is in the 
quest book. Apparently, I've done a load of quests. Okay, I'm going to have to collect all of these, I suppose. Okay, a whole load of rewards later and a whole bunch more items. If we come in the quest book here, we have create basics, which is going to tell us exactly what we need to do. So it does seem like this andesite alloy is the first thing we need, which of course is iron and andesite, of which I don't have any. What the heck is this? Nugget of experience? Hold W to ponder. Ooh, what the heck? Okay, this is very confusing. I've eaten it. Okay. <laughs> oh, it gives me XP. Right. I should have probably figured that one out. If I come back to this search bar here, before we go caving... Yes, backpack. How do you make this? Leather? String? I have it. Oh my god. Right, here we go. Oh yes. Yo! And if I click this thing here, I should have a spot to put my backpack. Oh, yes. Oh, we are ready. We are so ready. Right, let's take these sticks and coal. We'll make a bunch of torches. Get those in the offhand. And there should be a pretty good cave right here. I mean, I'll take this coal straight off the bat. Not sure if we need it for create, but I mean, coal's always handy. But I must remember, we're looking for andesite and iron. Oh my, he's wiggling. Oh, brilliant. Oh God, there's more. Just blow up already, please. Okay, he's dead. Right, diorite, granite, really not that helpful. Where's the stuff I actually need? Oh, grab more coal. Oh, I swear andesite's everywhere when you don't need it. Let's head down here. What the heck is this? Zinc. Oh, I think I need an iron pickaxe for that. And for that, well, I do need some iron. Oh, finally, first iron. Let's go. Is it just going to be one? It was just one. An andesite. Okay, or oh, we can actually make some create progress. All right, over a stack of andesite, but only one iron. Oh, we are definitely going to need more. Oh, and speaking of, that'll do nicely. And oh, is this a copper vein? I mean, I'm going to grab some of this, actually. Oh, right. Fresh pickaxes. Break this crafting table. And I think we're going to have a little mining montage. Let's go. And we are out. Right, where's my house? I mean, chest and a crafting table. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Right, did manage to get a little bit of stuff here. Got 30 iron, the andesite. Now, first things first, I think we're going to need to make a furnace. So, well, then we can actually smelt up this iron. Perfect. Now, if we turn this into nuggets, yes, we can craft the andesite alloy. I guess we'll just craft four. Not sure how many we're actually going to need. And two quests completed. Right, where are they in the book? There's one. We get 10 more andesite alloy and some more XP. Oh, there's quite a few here. We got our iron, copper. Oh, we got some mob ones. Kill a cow. Of course, I have that one already. Kill a creeper. Kill a sheep. Oh, we got an achievement for getting the XP. Oh man, there's so much to this mob pack. And we got our first backpack. Nice. Wait, what the heck is this stuff? Okay, this is a whole world I don't understand yet. Yep, but I'm sure we're going to get to that. We're still focusing on create. I think next up, I'm going to try and make one of these shafts, which is a two and a site alloy. I mean, that should be simple enough, right? Boom. Press complete. Make a shaft. And is this going to give us more? Yes. Right. What do I do next? Andesite casing. Right click a strip log with an andesite alloy. I can do that. Strip log and right click with an andesite alloy. Yo. Andesite casing. W to ponder. Ooh. Okay. Uh, very mind flooding. Looks like we use it to make machines, I suppose. But let's not forget to collect our reward. We get five more casing and some more XP. And then, yes, this is what I was looking for. This is how we actually start making machines. Mechanical saw. That sounds fun. How do we make this? Iron sheet. How do I make that one? Okay, this thing needs a press. Oh, which we can make. And it's like casing, a shaft, and a block of iron. Now, you should have smelted up enough iron for us to make a block. And now, can we make a press? There it is. Boom. Yo. Let's ponder this one. Oh, it looks like we need something else. A depot. Right, depot. How do we make that? Casing and an alloy. That is very easy. Man, am I actually doing create? Is it actually happening? So if I ponder this thing again, you have the depot with the pressy thing on top. So let's give that a go. Depot and press. Now from watching a few videos to get an idea of create, I have noticed that there's a sort of hand crank thing. I just need to find it. There it is. Hand crank, planks and andesite alloy. Right, that should be doable. Bam. Right, it's not doing anything. Um, <laughs> oh wait, I'm really stupid. Let's put four iron ingots on there. Turn the crank. Oh, it's working. I got another achievement. Bonk. Yo, let's go. I'm doing create. Uh, right click, right click. <gasps> Yes, iron sheets. Well, let's celebrate by eating some bread. I'm actually getting somewhere. All right, let's update our quest book. Oh, we get a block of iron back. Yeah. So now that I got those sheets, can I make this mechanical saw now? Move items. Boom. Let's make another hand crank as well. And I think if I plonk this down. Okay, that is the wrong way, I think. Maybe here. Hand crank. Crank it up. 
Boom. Whole tree chopped down. Oh, that's so good. Right, that's going to make clearing out trees a lot easier. But with create, there is a way that I don't actually need to use this hand crank thing. You can automate power. And if I come and check the quest book again, large water wheel. I think that's what I need to make. But I need to do these things first. So there we go. Cog wheel. Oh, I might get a few of these, actually. Then we've got to make a large cog wheel. We'll make a couple of those as well. Then the quest book is asking for oh, the water wheel. So a bucket of water and a water wheel. And these recipes are easier than I thought they'd be. So there we go. There's our water wheel. I'm going to ask for a bucket of water as well. It should be easy enough if I can find some water. Right, if I look at the map, it looks like there's some over this way. There we go. Oh, my. Hello. Oh, he is mad. He's mad. <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm back where I started. Oh, man. Well, at least I have a marker. 800 blocks away. Ugh. Stop laughing at me, pig. Right, I'm in to grab some food from this village. Oh, hay bales, that'll do nicely. Yep, you can stop laughing as well, Jared. All right, let's make some bread. And I'll see you all the way over there. All right, hopefully that bear has gone. And hopefully my stuff is still there. Oh, God. There I am! <laughs> what? Oh, there's zombies as well. Come on. Set the bear on fire. Oh, jeez. Please stay away. Come on, just burn. There's one. <sighs> well, I got the achievement for killing a zombie. Right, let's just try running real fast. What do I do? Transfer items. Oh, run, run. Oh, that sounds so bad. Note to self, make a bed and set spawn. Oh, man, where was I? Yep, I forgot I'm doing quests. The last one I want to do is the large water wheel. Right, that needs water wheels and planks. I think I'm going to make a few more of these smaller water wheels first. And three big water wheels? Okay, we are actually getting somewhere. Let's not forget to get all of our rewards as well. Right, I think I need to slap another chest down. We have just so many items right now. Oh, wait, I've got a bucket of water as a reward. <gasps> now I can make an infinite source. Let's slap that down before I forget. Yes, lovely. Right, I think at this point, I'm going to start automating power using our four water wheels here. But that might require a little bit of thinking. So let's do a little water wheel montage and then I can show you how it works. OK, let's go. And here we go, automated power. If I just hop up to the top here, you can see that I've got some water flowing down that's going onto these big water wheels, which is, of course, making it spin. And I've linked up some cogs here just to make it spin a little bit faster. So you go big cog to small to big cog to small. And then I've linked it into the mechanical press. If I right click this on there. Oh, yep. There we go. And boom. So that's the basic premise of automatic power, at least to start with anyway. I'm pretty sure there's lots more ways we can make power. But for now, this is going to have to do. But now that we've got this figured out, I do want to start trying to put a build around this thing. And well, I don't really have the materials to do that right now. So I think we have to go on a little adventure and probably clear out some more trees. I should definitely bring the mechanical saw and the hand crank. That should make it easier. Then we'll start out by getting a whole bunch of oak wood. I think we'll head up there and get some spruce wood as well. Because, I mean, who doesn't love building the spruce wood? Right, eight saplings. Mm, it's probably just easier just to grow a giant one, right? That just saved me a bunch of time once it grows. Oh, man, look how cool that is. The wheel's moving. Oh, this mod's so cool. I think I might grab a bit more stone as well. Because there's going to be something really cool we can do with these blocks. So let me grab a few more of them. And then I can show you what that is. Well, I've just popped to get some clay over there. But, um, well, yeah, there's a... Some sort of alligator. Brilliant. Mr. B, what are you doing to me, man? I was going to do this off camera, but well, just in case. Oh, yeah, he seems angry already. Right, quick. I see one clay ball. Oh, geez. Oh, he's up there now. OK, uh, I think I'll just swim over this side. I'm sure you guys really want me to take it on, but um, well, not today. All right, back to the base. Oh, and our big trees are growing up. We'll chop these down quickly as well. I think I need to knock this out. Right, chop down the whole tree. That'd be very nice. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so good. Oh, the logs are everywhere. Right, replant, replant. Probably not got all the materials that I need, but well, it should be enough to get started. But before we start building, I need to introduce you to the mason table and the carpenter's table. And these things, well, they are very cool. Just need my iron and a crafting table. And then, boom, there's the carpenter's table. And I need a clay brick. <sighs> and, boom, masonry table. And these two things are very powerful. Not to mention they look so cool. Look at those. If I right-click this thing and chuck some cobble cobblestone in, we can turn it into any of these blocks. God, there's so much to choose from. Rounded cobblestone bricks. Let's give some of these a go. And then the same with the carpenter's table. If I chuck in some planks, let's say, look at all these options for planks. Let's try some of these, I suppose. And look at this. Cobblestone and spruce planks. Well, that's kind of cool. It's got like a little border. Oh, I like that. But yeah, I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time trying to figure out what blocks I want to use. So I'm definitely liking these cobblestone things. Oh, thinking about it. Can I? Oh, yeah, look at that. Flowered spruce log. Damaged spruce log. Hmm. Wait, I have one more question. If I strip these, mine them back up. Do these work in the table? 
Surely not. Oh, oh, there's so many options. Stern strip spruce log. Is that a face? Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh. Right, guys, I'm going to spend probably way too much time looking at this sort of stuff. Oh yeah, these are nice. Right, excuse me while I have way too much fun picking a block palette for this build. Oh, right, so gathered up a whole bunch of items here, and I've also laid out our build palette. I think we're going to use this cobblestone here for a bit of terrain around the water wheel, because, well, I don't really want water just coming out the ground. Looks kind of weird. Then I think we're just going to go for a nice, simple spruce and oak palette for the actual main building. Maybe we'll try working some of this cobblestone as well. But yeah, you can see I've also moved all the items out the way and got a nice space to build with here. And I've also expanded our machine a little bit. I've added this millstone. And what the millstone can do is if I take this wall here and chuck it in here, you can see it's sort of doing some grindy sort of thing. And there we go, new advancement. If I right click, it's turned the wool into string. I mean, it can do a lot more than that, but well, that's all I know for now. We've also got a bit more room here to expand some more machines. I'm not really sure what we're going to need yet. I kind of had to do some routing with these gearboxes here. And these things, they're pretty easy to make. Just some cogs and an andesite casing. Still trying to get my head around all this stuff. But yeah, I think these are two good starting machines for now. And with that, I think it's time to start some actual building. So I'm going to sort of run with this gradient here and hopefully build up a little bit of terrain around this water wheel. I'm not too sure how this is going to go, but I'm going to give it an honest try. Try. A little bit of cobblestone on top of these. Maybe some of these white ones. Let's just take a little look at this. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. The one thing we can do is grab some sticks and some planks. I can craft these things from framed blocks. So nice and simple to make. Boom, got a stack of those. And then what we can do is turn them into different shapes. So let's grab a few of these slope things. And oh man, there's just so many. Um, I guess we'll just roll with this for now. What I can do is place some of these in around here. Maybe like there. I have one on there. And what you can do you can place any block you want inside of these and it makes it into the shape of the framed block probably need to work quite a lot more on this but i don't know it's looking pretty cool so i think i'll work a little bit more on this section off camera but i think for now i actually want to work on the frame of the building now i need to hide this sort of gearbox crazy thing here and seeing as there's not going to be a machine here yeah i'm just going to put a little pillar up in here and i'll put one either side of the machines as well oh i'm thinking about it these bottom ones here i think i want to make this reinforced sprucey log thing that's kind of cool then of course we're going to need to cover this up so We'll have a pillar here and a pillar here. Nice. And how about we grab some of this cobble, maybe make a little base on the bottom. Is this going to be too much spruce if I just use these planks? Oh yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Have a little window in there. Now, of course, it actually looks like the wall wheel's attached to the building. But I also do want a room in this section because, well, we've got all these chests to put in here. So maybe we'll come out a little bit. Maybe a gap of seven like there. We'll bring cobble along the front here. And you know what? I just realized I'm not using the right blocks that I was meant to. Where was it? Yep, these ones. Oh yeah, that's better. It's a nice texture. Let's fill in this wall. We'll probably have a door in here, just like that. Then maybe a couple of windows. Yes. Now I'm wondering, can I make stairs out of these things? No. Wait, can I make stairs out of these? Yes. Oh, I think I'm a genius. Boom, boom. And then boom, boom. Oh, that's so cool. Right, we are getting somewhere here. I just got to fill in the rest of these walls. And now we finally actually got a little room, but uh, it's still looking pretty boring. I think this side, we're going to keep it this level. Maybe put a little slanted roof on it, but maybe this one we can afford to go up another story. And I'm thinking, what if we come up here like this and here, do one of these slanty things, pop in these logs. Oh, kind of cool, kind of cool. You know, what? I might add a few more of these in here, then just build up these another three. We're going to need some stairs in here. Okay, you know what? I'm not ashamed to admit it. I am kind of struggling here. All these modded blocks are getting a little bit overwhelming. Not too sure how I feel about this thing. Right, let me do some thinking and I'll be right back. Right, a little bit of a progress update here. What I ended up doing is lowering this top level down one block. I put a little bit of a roof trim on out of this chipped cobblestone block. Same one that we used on the terrain. And I've also added a few more of the framed blocks. You can see here to help with this transition, I've added this trap door and then this framed slab edge just for the stone, which kind of gives it a little bit more depth. Then from this angle, it actually looks really cool. I've got a few more of these slab edge things here, which I think if I can just Put it there. I put some of these logs in. Oh yeah, I like that. Starting to get some windows in here. But next up, I think I want to figure out the roof line together, which I think I should just be able to make out of these normal blocks. So I think we're just going to come up one block at a time until we get to the middle. And we'll do the same on this side as well. Hmm. I think I might actually slant this a little bit more. So on the top tier, we'll come up two blocks and then just come straight across. Am I going to have enough blocks for this? Yes, perfect. All right, thinking about it, this is a pretty similar shape to my Let's Play starter house, but I mean, it's tried and tested. I do like that house. Like, we can definitely do 
do a lot to make this look very different though. Let's just have a quick look at this roof shape. Yeah, I like that. And I think here we'll have a little slabby shallow roof. And I guess that's sort of like the machine room, right? So that doesn't need to be too big. We've got this terrain to blend in here. And of course, the rest of this build to fill in. So I think I'm going to go away and get the rest of this house built, at least up to the fine detailing stage. Because, well, I've got a few good ideas for that. So with that, the next time you see me, this build should be pretty close to done. And here we go. As you can see, quite a lot of progress has been made here. And there's been quite a few different changes. Main thing being swapping out this spruce for stone, which I think makes the whole thing look better overall. We kind of did lose some of the shape that we had on the side here, but yeah, I think this design there is pretty nice. But the main reason for switching out to stone is because I decided to use spruce on the roof here. With spruce down here and spruce up there just kind of looked too much. But I ended up just using the same gradient that we have over here, which I've also extended around a little bit. But yeah, I've got this design going all the way around here. Oh yeah, and I got all the windows in as well. And these are also from the chipped mod. And I made those by using this glass blower thing here, which honestly is just another cool decoration as well. And speaking of decoration, I've got some cogs on the outside here. They don't serve a purpose other than just like looking cool. I mean, crates all about moving parts, right? So I kind of want to show that off. But there is still quite a lot more detail that I want to add to this. And that's going to start on this side over here. Where I think we're going to get into a new mod. But unfortunately, I've run out of wood and an axe, apparently. But not to worry. I've got our mechanical saw here. So I'll just give this a crank. There we go. Oh my god, the wood is everywhere. Look at it. And we need wood to get into McCaw's bridges. So I want to make these spruce stairs. So I need a spruce bridge, which is fences and slabs. Okay, right, here we go. That is probably way too many. But I kind of want some stairs up the side here. Should be able to run this down. Oh, that's cool. I mean, again, I probably need to extend the terrain out here a little bit, but let me on. Yeah, stick at that. Oh, that's so good. I think we're going to use this as our way to get up to the second story, which isn't filled in yet, but we're getting there. Just going to bring this terrain out a little bit while I'm thinking about it. And now just to get something on the sides here. I think if I just put some temporary blocks around the side, we'll do some of these frame trap doors. I think I'll try out this log texture and hopefully this will look nice. Yep, I don't mind that. That's pretty cool. Now I just need to make some doors to go on the outsides. And I wonder, can I check these in here? Oh, yes. Oh, so much choice. Um, Let's try out the window one. Why not? So put one there. How does this look? Oh, that's such a cool door, man. Yes, let's get one up here as well. There we go. Right, now next up, I want to make some of these fluid pipes, which is made out of copper and copper sheets. And I got a bunch of copper here from my mining trip, which of course I'm going to have to smelt. But I think while that's going, let's maybe get a floor in this interior. I'm thinking maybe something with a light colour. Maybe we'll see what sort of oak planks we can get. Oh, maybe polished oak planks. That is pretty clean. Yeah, I mean, it can't hurt. Let's just give it a go. Oh yeah, I'm liking that one. We'll go with that. Right, let's grab some of this copper and we can chuck it into our press. And that should make it into the sheets that we need. I'm going to need to grab myself a little bit more oak for our interior. Running out of material has sort of been a theme for me today. Though I guess that is just starting in a brand new world, isn't it? Okay, I can fill in the rest of this floor. And I think at this point, I want to start moving some stuff in. I think down here is going to be our workroom. So I probably want to grab our chipped tables. So we have the carpenter's table there, the masonry table there. We've also got the glass one, which I'll just plonk down there for now. Of course, I want to move our crafting table in too. And that seems like a good spot. And I think I'm going to leave space along here for extra create stuff that we're going to make in the future. And I don't know what that's going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be something. Now just to sort out a ceiling. I'm thinking if we just make a bunch just slabs out of these framed things. And we'll just fill in this. Might just fill it in with the same oak blocks though. And as I'm placing this, this kind of reminds me of like the mushroom texture. Is that right? This isn't like a mushroom. Eh, either way, I kind of like it. I mean, I'm not really too worried about the interior for this. It is definitely going to evolve over time. What I do want to do is get into yet another mod, which is a storage kind of mod. And if I come to here and search draw, I want to make some of these half sprucey draw things. I mean, that seems really easy. There we go. Eight of those. And these things are super cool. If I come up here and we'll plonk. So now I have four at the top here and on the other side. And things that I have a lot of, I guess like these spruce planks for now, I can just right click them right into the drawers. I mean, maybe not ideal. I don't really have loads of anything at the moment, but I'm definitely gonna do some resource gathering between episodes. I think what I'm gonna do is make a bunch more chests as well, just for some miscellaneous type items. I'll just get a rare chest along here. There is one more thing I want to add up there though. Something I should have done quite a long time ago. And that is of course a bed and set my spawn. Perfect. All right, let's just dump some of this wood stuff. I suppose this is the wood chest now. I'll sort out the items later. But now our copper should be smelted up and we can collect our plates. Ooh. And finally, I can make our fluid pipes. There we go. Now, I'm sure these things actually have a functional use in the game. But at this point for me, I just kind of want to use it as decoration. So I was kind of wondering how it looks sort of coming out the house and maybe try and connect up to the machine room. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's kind of cool. How does that look from down below, though? Yeah, I don't know. Might make it a little bit less snaky. Maybe I'm trying to do too much with that. How about we just come out and straight down? Boom. That should look a bit better. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Again, serves no purpose, but I don't know. I like it. Well, I think that's going to be it for the house. Well, the actual building part anyway. I just want to do a little bit of work outside the front. Maybe get a bit of a pop. <clears throat> 
maybe get a bit of a path in. And maybe there is one thing that always makes a build look better. And that is, of course, a few leaves. I don't want to go crazy with these. Maybe some on the roof. I'll put a few around the side as well. Why not? And you know what? One last little decoration. We'll make a bunch of barrels and try putting them into the carpenter's table. Oh, yes, it does work. Look at that. Oh, man, what a mod. Um, quite like the look of these reinforced oak crates. How about a pile of these? Oh, right. I think they're directional. So if I place it on the side, we get the cross face in the front. Might switch this one around like that. And I'll put a few more over here at the back too. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, this place is looking nice, you know. Right. I do keep trying to end the episode. But I do have one more thought. Give me a little bit of dirt. Do these go in there? Oh, my God, they do. All right. It's not path block, but I mean, can I craft this stuff? <gasps> dirt in a press. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Right, dig this back up, chuck the dirt in the press. Oh, it's making path. So theoretically, you can place these along here and place path in. No, no. Well, bruh. No, I guess it's the thought that counts. I guess we'll just make it spruce. Oh, that's a shame. And on that note, guys, I think we're going to end that episode there. Now, I really hope you did enjoy this one. It's all very new to me and, well, I'm learning as we go. But if you did enjoy it, please subscribe. And let me know any suggestions or tips you have, because we all know I need it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.